We had already been running the Science Cafe program for adults and we'd gotten this idea to have it at the kid level as well, but to wrap in the, the parents and the teachers, grandparents, get a support system for the kids when they come to hear the science so that there's something for the parent and the kids to talk about on their way home from the event. So these are some of the wiggles, you know, that we can record. Sounds that the earth make that are so low in frequency that we can't hear them, so we need an earth phone to listen to them. We have two events each month, Friday afternoons, after school, we have one at Evanston Public Library, and this is a teen loft that is really, really comfortable for the kids. Bean bags on the floor, it's a good place to lounge, feel comfortable, um, and relax, and then you get to hear some science. I come to Junior Science Cafe because I can learn about new principles of science. It introduces me to like branches of science and what careers I can have when I grow up. Yesterday's event was about uh, seismic waves and how do you detect them in the earth and it was really fun and, and the grad students that were there I thought brought a lot of enthusiasm and showed the kids how fun science could be. It was really fun you know just to you know when you ask questions they're all really excited raising their hands and stuff and you know pull out the computer uh, with that little seismic uh, toy on it and they all start shaking it and you know getting really excited about it. So I think that's really cool because you know that's how I kind of first got interested in geoscience, so I think it's really cool to kind of be able to share this with people and get them excited about it so that maybe they'll end up doing this as a career. When they talked about black holes, helped me get me on my project. I really like the one the ones about nanotechnology and black holes and stuff. Those are really cool. I want to be an astrophysicist when I grow up. Here I have different particles that are having all these funny little shapes and interactions. You know what I liked? I liked how accessible the professor was for your questions after. That was pretty neat. Some of the questions were great, like the, the little kid, Sam, who was making very specific questions about the Higgs boson decay mechanisms. It's just so great to see that level of curiosity. It's very inspiring to me to see that level of curiosity in someone so young. 